So why would you want a different sized fillet? The size of your fillet greatly impacts the strength and how loads are distributed when forces are applied to your joint. You want your fillet to be about the same strength as the materials that you're bonding together. So if you're bonding together half inch plywood, you're going to need to use a larger fillet than if you're bonding together quarter inch plywood. Additionally, if you're using a low density filler, we recommend using a larger fillet than if you're using a high density filler. To demonstrate the impact that si the size of a fillet has on the failure method, we have two different sized fillets made with our 407 low density filler. In an appropriately sized fillet, we would expect to see the wood to crack right above the fillet that we made. In an undersized fillet, we would expect to see an adhesive failure from the bottom substrate as the fillet is pulled away from the wood. To demonstrate this, we're gonna take our, our appropriately sized fillet and clamp it down to the table, and I'm gonna pull on it. So I've clamped down this appropriately sized fillet onto the table, and so we'll, we expect to see a failure right above the fillet. Now I've clamped down an undersized fillet to see where it breaks. What I expect to happen is a failure right along this bond line. With the largest fillet, the load was distributed over the entire area of the fillet, causing the weakest link to be the vertical piece of wood. In the undersized fillet, you can see that the load was not distributed across a large enough area, causing the weakest link to be that top layer of your plywood. The same principle applies when you're using the high density filler, but your fillets can be smaller. 